In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. We are going to create another solid color. With the mark selected, set opacity to 100, foreground to black. And we are going to make a few clicks. We are going to set blend mode to multiply. Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we are going to reduce the opacity of the copy. We create a new layer. So we are going to copy this as code. Then we are going to click once. Create a new layer. Set foreground to white. And we are going to click once. Let's grab our tutorial asset. So first and foremost, we are going to copy this Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. So we are just going to position this. So we are just going to copy everything and put them together. In this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush. We are going to paint some shadows. So foreground is set to white. So we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selector control I to that we grab a soft tone brush. And we are going to paint some shadows.
I'm going to create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer with a max selected control I to invert. Reduce the opacity, set foreground to white and we are going to paint some shadows. This shadow should actually be dark chocolate so I later took care of that. With this layer selected, I am going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with the max selected control with the max selected control I to invert. We are going to create a vibrance adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to create a case adjustment layer. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the max selected control I to invert. And we are going to paint some shadows. With the max selected control I to invert. We are going to create a case adjustment layer. Create a new layer just beneath the magnum layer. We have the polygonal lasso tool. And we are going to create a selection. Ctrl D to deselect. So basically, we are just going to apply a Gaussian blur to this and we are going to distort it. We we'll apply a Gaussian blur and we are just going to use the mask to erase some parts of that.
basically the further the lighter is the opacity with this layer selector we are just going to create a new layer beneath that grab the soft hand brush and we are just going to change the roundness so that we can apply some contact shadows so we make the brush bigger for when it's set to black we go to brush settings and we are going to set the roundness to 7 we zoom in and we are just going to make some few clicks to create the contact shadow right here. So we are going to apply another case adjustment layer. In this layer selected, we are going to create a solid color film. Then we are going to set the blend mode to linear dodge height. So we we'll go for blend if we right click and go for blending options. And we are just going to drag this under hold alt and break the handoffs with the max selected ctrl i to invert we grab a soft turn brush we make the brush bigger we turn we set roundness to normal we reduce the opacity and we are just going to paint some light right here. With this layer selected, we are going to create a solid color. So basically we are doing the same thing we are applying blend this to this so that this blends seamlessly and with the mask selected we are going to invert that and we are just going to paint Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. And we are going to 
right click and convert to a smart object. So basically we are going to be playing with all these settings until this is cool and we can just click OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.